Hello, everybody, and is everybody well today? <laughs> that was good. Oh, I'm so glad that you are, and so are we. And who are we, you ask? May I introduce the captain for today? This is Michael Rowley. He's from the other side of the Pennines, and he's popped over to play with my toys today and I do like to share my toys. On YouTube he's known as Silly Grandad. Why are you called Silly Grandad? Because my granddaughter decided that's what I was. Oh, oh boy! Well, I suppose it's as good as anything, right? Right, so we've been doing a bit of messing about. We went and, oh, we did a night flight we yesterday, did didn't we? We haven't done a night flight. It doesn't video record very well a night flight, obviously, because it's all dark. But we did a night flight yesterday between Boston and Montreal. And here is just a few seconds from the clip that we made last night of the views on the area. Just look at this. Pretty clear, really sharp. These are, of course, all the roads that you can see and the lights of the cities below. So we had a good time making that flight. And a night flight is always good fun, but not one, unfortunately, that we can share with everybody on YouTube. It'll be just a black screen for most of it. So sorry about that. So what are we going to do today? Well, we were having breakfast this morning and we were wondering what uh, what flight that we might make and then I had a message pop up on YouTube and it came from a Jevon Barrett, Jevon Barrett. So I don't know where he's located, whether he's in the USA or in, in Jamaica, because he made a request for a flight to Jamaica and he said, Hello, Father Dane. Would you mind doing a flight from MWCR to MKJP? Now, naturally, everybody knows where MWCR is, right? <laughs> no, perhaps not. Well, it's Georgetown Owen Roberts International Airport, and it's on the Cayman Islands. Cayman Islands. So, and we're going to go to the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston, Jamaica. So that's where our flight is going to go today. And it's a nice short flight, so we'll be able to get a loft and then have a quick in-flight video. Jaws, we're going to show Jaws again, <laughs> <laughs> flying over the Caribbean, why not? <laughs> All those islands. And... Uh, and of course, we're going to have champagne and caviar, and especially for you, we're having smoked salmon and cream cheese. How about that? Smoked salmon and cream cheese. We aim to please. <laughs> now, I looked it up, and there is a flight between the two points, and it's Cayman Airlines. Beautiful aeroplane. This is a 737 MAX 8 that you can see here, and they fly between these two points and it's flight KX600. Or if you want to look it up on FlightAware or any of the other search engines, it's CAY600. CAY600. Now, I didn't have any scenery, airport scenery, for uh, the Cayman Islands, so I went out on to Sim Market this morning and <laughs> I got myself a bargain. There's a sale going on right now and I managed to get it for 10 euros. So the scenery, I've not tried it yet. We've got yet to install it, but we're going to be trying this out for the first time today. 
I did get the scenery for uh, Jamaica, for Kingston. And both of these sceneries are made by the same design company, made by Wing Sim. Wing Sim are the designers for both the Cayman Islands and for Jamaica. So we've got our flights, we've got everything organized, we've got the fuel even at the prices they're charging today. Yes. Yeah, right. And uh, so we're ready to go into pre-flight and see what we can make of this. Are you ready yep. for pre-flight? Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, here I am and I'm looking at Flight Radar 24 today and I'm doing this for a particular reason. It's because when I went into Flight Aware, a lot of information wasn't there. So I've gone straight into Flight Radar 24 in order to see this flight. And this is, here's the flight you can see here. I'm doing a playback of Flight KX600. There's the CAY600 designation. And it was from Georgetown to Kingston. And all I have to do is grab that and move it along. And it says that the maximum altitude that they had was 33,000 feet. Whether we're going to be given the same, I don't know. But over here, you can see what that aircraft looks like. It's a Boeing 737 MAX 8. So we're going to be following this colorful jet right there. Now, to do the start, since I like to start at the, or try to be at the same place that the original flight is, we're going to be, if we can, parked right there where you see this one at. And this one is stand, does that look like 12 to you? That looks like stand 12, doesn't it? Yeah. So we're going to try to be at stand 12 on the Cayman Islands. I haven't been in this scenery yet, so I don't know how accurate it is, but we'll find out in just a second. Destination, zoom in on that. Let's see where they came in at. And they came in right at this one. Stand eight. That's stand eight. So we're going to try to do the same, try to fly in exactly the same way as they did. The flight plan, it looks like it's pretty straightforward. It's a straight line. So we're not going to have any particular difficulties on that. And it says here, the distance is 505 kilometers. Average flight time is 47 minutes and no delays on this one, it says. And let's have a look. Vertical speed, track, squawk. This was their squawk code and there's their registration. So we've got basically all the information that we need. Let's have a look at the wind and see what's going on. Well, there's some pretty steady wind coming right across the Cayman Islands right there. Look at that, it's going straight across. And this is recording, and it says it's obsolete because it's five hours old. It says it was at 070 degrees at six knots and varying. Obviously it's gonna vary between 40 degrees and 100 degrees. Well, it's an island. You expect winds to shift and change and eddy around. So we may well have a crosswind takeoff on that. And looking at the runway information, well, doesn't look like there's any doubt that we'll be departing on this runway, which is runway eight. So if we depart on runway eight, we'll be following exactly the same as the previous flight did. Looking now at Jamaica, you can see here what happens when these winds hit the mountains and hills of Jamaica, because there are some pretty tall hills there, um, big hills in the area. And you can see how they go around, swirl around. So yes, anything is possible right down here on this little peninsula where the airport is located. 
It's saying wind is coming from 10 degrees at 8 knots. Visibility though is 10 kilometers and it is BFR. QNH is 1015, which makes it almost uh, standard. Standard being 1013. So very little difference between this, just a slight higher air pressure. And here's the airport. This is the main runway here. So it looks like, what do you think, My, uh, Michael? You think we'll be coming in on this it one? Looks like, it looks like it's favoring that one. It does, doesn't it? But you know, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Winds can change very quickly in the Caribbean. And so 3-0 or 12, we don't know. Let's see what we get from SimBrief. Let's go into the SimBrief and make our flight plan and see what they come up with on their database. Here we are. Airline, of course, is Ryanair and we are 186. And we are going from MWCR. MWCR. And we are going to MKJP. M K J P. And this is the alternate. We'll find out where that is in just a moment. And of course, our airframe is Ryanair 186. This airframe, by the way, I put this in because there is a real E I E N I aircraft. And the, if you go online, you can find out all the specifications for any one of the uh, Ryanair or any other aircraft for that matter. They give you all the engine types, the uh, rate of burn, the weight, maximum gross weight, seating, everything is on there. How old it is, how many flights it's made. And I just simply copied all of that data into this airframe and then saved it so that when SimBrief makes that calculation, they have the real airframe, so they've got the, all of the data in there in which to make the base calculations from. So down here, it says schedule flight time, which of course is block time, closing the door to opening it. It says we're going to be leaving on 8 and arriving on 30. This is what the latest data is. I'm not going to put in an altitude. I'm going to see what SimBrief gives us on that. And here's the route. And it says the route distance is 274 nautical miles. And this, this is the the route. And coming in, it says this is the alternate, which is Sangster International. So that's the one that we'll have to go to if things go pear-shaped, which never happen on Ryanair 186. They highly, wouldn't dare. Highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. Well, we have a new captain today, and so definitely everything will be done Bristol fashion Absolutely. and ship shape. All right, we'll save this, and let's go ahead and generate the flight plan. And... We've got a cruise level of flight level 230, which is what we'll do. Airtime, it's saying, is one hour and three minutes, and there's our block fuel. And here's our routing that we'll be putting into the FMC. And we've already seen that, so look at the information here. Um, we are, of course, Ryanair 186. <clears throat> here is the flight level we're flying on. And we'll be using this. This is our flight route. Cost index 6. We'll need to know the average wind. Our block fuel is right there. We'll need to know the reserves. That's 2,714 2, kilograms. That's 2.7 tons of fuel. Let's see, at how much is it per litre right now in the UK? Is it almost what? It's almost two pounds a litre. Almost two quid a litre. You know, that's, uh, oh, that's 
10 12 dollars a gallon wow and then here's the trip and taxi no tankering recommended so no problem with that now here's the routing this is the route that i'll put below the film in the description box going down to page eight is the descent information there's for flight level 200 there's at 84 and 17 uh, degrees is the wind direction there and there's the for 150 which is one fifteen thousand, and for 10,000 right there and look at the temperatures it's minus nine or ten at our cruising altitude or thereabouts and then it starts getting warmer and warmer as we descend so yes i think a nice little trip to the caribbean is just what we need michael what I, do you think i think so i think yeah. so well here's the wind aloft for <clears throat> flight level 240 which is just a thousand feet above ours and as you can see here we have oh well headwinds michael headwinds we're going to be bucking headwinds that's the reason why it's taking an hour to get there because we're we're going into headwinds not that they're all that fast it's the very look at the tail feathers there's very little in the way of tail feathers so we may not have much of an impact on our flight at that altitude after all and then down here this is our vertical profile we're starting out here at uh, the Cayman Islands top of climb going across and then dropping down into Kingston right not bad looks good looks straightforward doesn't it and not bad they, I like the fact that these these tail feathers are low yeah okay all right we'll go into navigraph charts okay we click on flights and new flight from sim brief and we bring in the one that we just made we click on the beginning open the charts list we need the airport parking information and the start information let's have a quick look at that and here are the uh, the stand information up here so will be at one of these this is where what was it 12, 12 it was. was it 12 that we are going to try to get at yeah. so that will be the coordinates that we'll need to bear in mind when we uh, program the fmc we are going out on this this is our departure sid and so we'll pin that to the bottom so it's down here now i'm going to sweep over here to there and we'll open up we'll need the airport information and again looking here uh it came into eight we think would yeah. be that one so we're going to try to do the same on our flight to try to follow it as closely as possible and on the approach is coming in on 30 so we're going to be using the uh, the RNAV and I'll pin that let's look at the overlay so it's uh, it's going to be an interesting arrival there let's see what it gives us here So we're coming on RNAV 30 and we'll be using the um, all right let's do the Dussel one and see what it does that seems to have cleaned up the uh, the approach much easier so now we come straight down here intercept Dussel hang a left go on to base leg there so we're actually downwind base leg and final in onto runway 30. Easy peasy, what do you think? Yep, 3,000 feet at 13 miles, which is quite a good yeah. approach. Yeah, 
and final will be 300 degrees. There's the initial f intermediate fix. Yeah. And then if things go pear-shaped, it says we just swing around to the left, go to Marag and go into a holding pattern. Ha! Holding patterns. Oh, that's the joy of every pilot. But oddly enough, when you go for an IFR rating, they exist that you have to practice an, a holding pattern while you're under the hood, or in my case, while the screens were all blacked out. So I did all my flying in an aeroplane, actually flying, and couldn't see outside the cockpit. And then the instructor said he wanted me to go to a holding pattern, not over a fix, but over the intersection from two VORs that he decided arbitrarily right then and there. And that's what I had to do. And then he said, make it a non-standard holding pattern. So holding patterns are very close and near and dear to my heart, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, we've got our flight plan. We know what we're doing. Uh, do we do know what we're doing, don't In we? Theory, we? In theory. In theory. Yeah. All right, well then let's go into Ryanair 186 and see what this wonderful Sim Wings airport scenery looks like, shall we? Well there, Jem and Barrett, welcome aboard. As you can see, we have Captain Michael Rowley in the seat on the left and I'm occupying the seat on the right today. But we have a very comfortable jump seat right behind right here so you can get to see all of the action. Now, being only the first officer today, the bully here, he sent me out to kick the tires and made sure that there was no debris on any part of the aircraft. And he made me wash the windows too. Look at them, they're sparkling. They are absolutely clean. They're so clean, it's almost <laughs> as like they're not there at all. So, and he's the one that made me do it. But anyway, I've got all the fuel in. I've loaded it up with, what was the amount? We've got uh, block fuel of 6433. 6,433 kilograms of fuel. Wow, just a little over 6.4 tons of fuel to fly on this trip and here we are at a magnificent airport now I have not seen this airport before I mean this is the first time I've got this I only ordered and downloaded the scenery this morning for where we are we're at the what does it say Owen, uh, Owen, Roberts. Owen Roberts International Airport which is of course in Georgetown in the Cayman Islands. But it is absolutely magnificent. So let me, I'm going to play tourist now and I'm <laughs> going to get the camera going. And there's some notable things on here. You can see down here there is traffic rushing hither and yon going in and out of the car, uh, car parks. But here's what I was really impressed with. See this? Look. The Cayman Islands flag and the Union flag are both flying and actually flying. They're actually in motion. And the traffic, well, that's going back and forth. And over here, if I swing to the right, what is really interesting about this is, look at that, the palm trees. They're actually in motion, so we can actually see that there's a breeze here today. And over there, there's a Cayman Islands, um, Cayman Airways flight parked right there. And this is just one of those beautiful days. Now we are running, of course, with active sky. And what does it show on the uh, frame rate? See, now I've got my wrong glasses on for seeing the frame rate. Hmm. That's, I still can't see. Oh, that's 20, 22 going to 25. Okay, so between 22 and 25 frames per second. And this, of course, is 4K resolution. 4K. So we're doing very well. But I'm really impressed 
with this scenery. What do you think of this scenery, Michael? Oh, I think it's wonderful. It, it's quite astonishing. It is. And it was 10 euros from Sim Market this morning, so <laughs> just thought I'd let you know that. Well worth every cent. Okay, now we're all set to go and we're going to go from Georgetown, we're going to go to Kingston, Jamaica. This scenery, by the way, is by Wing Sim. So the Cayman Islands airport scenery is Wing Sim. Beautiful scenery. Well worth every penny. My gracious. Now the other thing I have to tell you is that we are not parked where we said we would at stand 12. We actually decided that we wanted to be down here in front of the, where it says the Owen Roberts sign and see these flags flying. So we actually are starting out from stand five. Stand five is where we're beginning our flight with today. And it's just pure cosmetics and pride in the flag. That's all it is. <laughs> all right. All right, Captain. Right. We're ready to go. Right. So what are we doing? Right. First thing is we want some power. So we'll get the battery on. And, and we have check 25 voltage. volts. Okay, and fuel pumps. And we're going to start the APU now. Okay. So we go to centre. So what we're looking for now is the EGT to rise. Once it's risen, it'll start to fall back down again. We'll look for the blue light to come on, which we'll show you in a second. And we can start the APU generator. There it goes, there's activity. It's coming up quite nicely, low oil pressure light's just gone out. You know, this simulator is really amazing, everything works. All the dials work, the gauges work, the switches work. And once it comes down, it'll stabilize and then we're looking for a blue light to turn on to indicate that power is available. Then we're going to switch to it. There it is. is. We're going to switch to it. And now up here, we have 115 volts. So now we have power. So what we want to do now is put the galley on. Oh yes. So we can have a cup of tea. And let's turn on the Enough. left and the right IRS to get them aligned. Uh, see, no smoking. Good. Over here, I'll turn on the left and the right window heat. I'm going to leave the probes off for a little bit because it's a warm day. I'm going to turn on the hydraulic pumps. Now I'm going to turn on the APU bleed and turn on the recycling fans, the left and the right packs, the isolation valve, and listen. Air conditioning. There's the air conditioning. Now we have air conditioning. And why do we need air conditioning? because right here it says the air temperature outside is 29 degrees. <laughs> so that's the reason why I'm in shirt sleeves today. This is, the, <laughs> this is the new uniform for Ryanair in a tropical country because it's a warm day. And we're going to go to Jamaica, which is just as warm. <clears throat> Absolutely. Your, your tongue's looking <clears throat> quite good as well. Oh yeah, get my freckles joined together. <laughs> Absolutely. And turn on the steady lights, let the people on the ground know that we're in here messing about. Okay, now we're ready, I think, at this point to program the FMC. Right, so the first thing we want to do is enter our IRS position. That's actually where we are. So FM, go FMC. FMC. And clear the, and clear is the bottom right, and again. Position initialize. And so our departure airport is W C R. And we are at gate five. And oh, it's brought it in. Good. So I'll select that. Yes, it is checked. 
There we go. Now our GPS is started. So now we go to the root. Mm -hmm. Origin is the same number. W C L. M W. M W C L. And our destination is M K J P. And we are flight number is Ryanair 186. And next page. Now we put in the route. And we take that directly from our flight plan. We're going direct to uh, Nauru. N A L R O. Okay. And And then R six forty. Direct to Otoko. G633 Golf 633 route to SIA R640 Romeo, Romeo 640 And that's taking us to Kembo Okay, then activate and execute. Now we go to fix, and that's our destination. So that's MKJP. And slash four. Mm -hmm. and slash That's correct. I've flown by now before you know. Yeah. <laughs> then we go to descent. DES. Forecast. And transition level. Let's look at the information that we've got on the charts for our destination because it says the uh, Transition level is flight level 180, but transition altitude is 170. So it's a little different from the US. So let's put in uh, 180 in that. And then we need the wind direction and speed for three levels 200, 100. Uh, 200, 200, 150, 150, and 100, 10,000 feet. And what is our second one? That's it. Seven and. 1500 is 086 Just 86. Yeah. 86. 86 slash You don't need the leading zeros on these. And final one is 83 at 20. And then execute that. And go to Departure arrivals, go to departure. Now, now we need to check with the ATIS. Is there an ATIS for this airport? 132.35. What's 
What does it say over there in the screen? Uh, it's 1 to 1.9 on the screen. Is that for ground? Oh, that's ground. An eight, it isn't an 8, it's a point to it. In that case then, we'll contact the ground. And get a clearance. And get a clearance. And we're going to be going to the... Uh, it's pretty much to the to the east. Yeah. So what's uh, what number is it? Number for five. East? Number five. Ellen Roberts, ground Ryanair one eight six, ready to taxi east departure. Ryanair one eight six, taxi to and hold short at runway eight, using taxiway runway eight, Charlie runway eight, Bravo Alpha, contact tower on one two one point nine when ready. Taxi to and hold short runway eight, using taxiway runway eight, Charlie runway eight, Bravo Alpha Ryanair one eight six. Right, we have our clearance and we're going to be departing on runway 8. So we put 8 in there. Mm -hmm. And do we have any SIDS? No, it's a no, no go. No row 2. Alright. That's there. Put that in. And then execute. Go to departures and arrivals again. And arrival. And now we're proposing to come in. What does our weather tell us? It's likely to be 12, is it? Yeah. yeah we're, we're is that down. what our flight plan called for? No. What did it call for? Uh, three, uh, R nav to 30. Well, let's put in 30, R nav 30, because uh, things do change. Yeah. And okay. we're coming in on the Ducel, um yes. transition. Yeah. So let's put Ducel and then execute that. If we have to, we will just simply have to change and switch around. Okay, so now that we've got that, now we need to go to uh, legs and let's switch to, I'm, I'm going to follow this on my side so that you can see what we are looking at Okay, so we're going to step through. And we're going to go to plan and then we're going to step through the plan. There's the first, there's Mauro, keep going, we're doing fine. Frost, Pepsi, SCI, that's the top. Ah, Kembo, now go to the next one. Do so. And join it up. Execute that. And then step. There's where we go on to base leg. As where we join it on final, and we come right into a perfect landing yes. at Kingston. You, you heard me say that. <laughs> perfect landing, right? <laughs> All right, this, that's good. The route is good. Okay, now we need to go in and do the route and fill in the details on that. So route, RTE and go to perform initialization so what is the what well, first of all so what is the reserves the reserves 2714 and then we add the trip which is 3055 which comes to 5769 which rounded out is 5.8 5.8 And what are the reserves again in rounded out? Our reserves are 2.7. 2.7. And the cost index? Is six. Is six. Our cruise and then double click for the zero fuel weight. And the cruising altitude today is? We have 230. 230, okay. Cruise wind. Wind was? Uh, zero nine five at ten. Nine five slash ten. Okay. And the transition altitude, as we just said, was one seven zero. One seven zero. And put that in there. And then execute that. N one limit. We're going to take the twenty nine degrees and lap it up. It's just like slash two nine, yeah. And then the figure goes larger, you see. Yeah. And then take off. Flaps ten. ten. And double click center of gravity, and it gives us the value for the trim wheel and for center of gravity. 
one click each on those and that tells us what B1 is, is B1 here, this is rotation speed and that is liftoff and that is 146 so we'll put 146 in that and we're going to go to 23,000 feet so I'll put 23,000 feet in here and I'll also put 23,000 feet in our pressurization. What is the elevation of the airport at, uh, at Jamaica? It is 18 feet. So I'll leave that then at zero. Absolutely. Well, all of our passengers, our self-loading cargo are on board. So I'm going to bring up the stairs and close the door. So what is the runway? We're going to be leaving on runway what? A is 08, so the heading is 081. This is 081, so I'll put course 081 in here. Okay, and let's put the flight direct, uh, the, um, yeah, make sure that the light goes out, and it did, good. So everything is programmed, all the bugs are in, so let's put the flight director on here, flight director on there, V nav button, L nav button, look at that, we have two green lights, and I'm going to arm the auto throttle at this point, I'm also going to switch the VOR1 on, because we need to tune in to the VOR at the airport in Jamaica. Oh. And that frequency was what? Mm -hmm. You're going to ask me that. Actually, I'm going to VOR. put it on VOR 2 in case we have to switch it. Oh, it's 115.5. 115.5. Now that is coming up on VOR 2. If we have to uh, put a frequency in for, if we have to go to the other runway, then we'll be coming in on an ILS and then there is a localizer that we'll have to connect to. All right, if you'll put the weather on yours, one click, double click on the data. I'll put the terrain on mine and double click on data and we'll turn on the TCAS. So everything is looking good, all right. Everybody's on board, so let's do the checklist and make sure that we haven't made any mistakes. So we've got the fuel is correct, windows are all locked, <laughs> seatbelt signs are on, door lights are out, are all out there, MCP is programmed, plus plugs done. Takeoff speeds corrected, CDU pre-flight complete, rudder air alarm trim is complete. Taxi takeoff briefing, well captain, <coughs> we need to go to runway 8, so which direction are we going to go? So we want our nose to the left. And our tail to the right. Yeah. And I'll put the anti-collision light on now and right, I've got the Navigraph charts running so you can see exactly where we are we're right there pointing directly at the terminal building and so you can see that we're going to have to and it, the instructions i think said to take the echo to the runway didn't it yeah so we have to take that first go out here go left to the runway go down the runway and then go around that circle at the bottom end and then line up for takeoff at that point Okay, right, so things are looking up. Okay. Well, if we're ready, I'm going to go in and uh, ask for a pushback. Is that okay, Captain? Yep. So we're ready? Ready. All buckled in? Are you all set there, Jevon? All clear? You're good? Buckled in? Got your drinks? <laughs> all right, in that case, we're ready. Here we go. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our right. Copy that. Ready to push. 
And we're starting engine number one Thanks today. So we'll switch this to engine one for there. Is that Is what? Actually, right, here we go. Okay, switching engine number one on. And the start valve has opened. And now we're looking right here for N2 to wind up. We, as soon as it gets to 24, We'll bring in the fuel. It's coming up very nicely. There it is. Fuel is introduced. Now the next thing we're looking for is for the engine gas temperature to start spinning up. And oh, look at that temperature building up. And now we'll look next for the low oil pressure light to go out. Good, it did. We're getting a good, good burn here, good start. And there, you can hear the engines. And next we're going to look for 115 volts up here. There we go. There we go. Now we start engine number two. And the start valve light has opened. And we're looking for... go we're looking for the N2 to build up push back complete parking brake set parking brake is set brake set there go fuel is in now we're looking for that engine gas temperature to climb up oh that's showing some heat look at that the steering pin is pulled. Watch for the salute and release. And we're looking right. next for the low oil pressure. It just went out. As soon as that gets to about 44, 45, we'll hear the second engine kick in. There it goes. And we're looking for 115 volts. There we go. We have it. Now, next thing is, as soon as that stabilized good now we switch to the main engines turn the air conditioning on APU bleed off and then turn the APU off everything is clear so I'm turning on the three taxi lights and we'll do the after start generators are on probe heat is now on anti-ice on a day like right. today, no, we don't need it. Isolation valve is correct. Engine start levers idle. The tent flight deck door is closed and locked. Except for the staff who are going to bring us. What were you wanting? Well, Mike personally would like a nice cup of tea and smoked salmon and cream cheese. Smoked salmon and cream cheese. So, do you hear that, staff? That's what the captain wants. Flight deck door closed. Recall check. And flight controls check, flaps we need, flaps 10, and flaps are going up. And we're, and we've got a green light, good. Uh, auto brake is RTO, speed brake lever down here tent ground equipment is all clear so verify the takeoff speeds any change in that case we are set to go and taxi to the active clear on my side it's clear on yours clear on my side look at this scenery i'm gonna have to definitely take some video of this <laughs> look at that flags flying and there, the palm trees are moving in the wind. Traffic is moving. And so are we. Wow, look at all of this. This is absolutely magnificent scenery. Look at that. Beautiful scenery.
Russia to the east. Ryanair 186 cleared for takeoff runway 8. Approved east departure. Cleared for takeoff runway 8. Ryanair 186. Well, we're cleared for takeoff, so we'll turn on all the lights. Engines go to that. Position is now on strobe. Start the clock. Top left. And then go down to the bottom of the runway here to the right. There we go. We have to go down to the end of the runway in order to turn around to take off. But all the lights are correct, everything is good. I do like this scenery. You know, they've gone to a lot of trouble to, to make this scenery. And Wingsim has done this. This is Wingsim scenery. Beautiful. Ah, and there are birds too. There are <laughs> birds flying out here. Watch out for bird strike. Is this where you have to turn in? No, we're not at it yet. It's right at, right at the... What, is, what does it say for number? Oh, Bravo, we turn in on Bravo, don't we? Go down to the next one then. And look at the wind song. The wind sock is actually in motion. Wow. Ah, here's the Bravo one. There it is. You can see where the sign is pointing. Bravo to the right over there. Yeah, they've given us plenty of room to turn around there, but we have to swing into the right and then come around. That's a little confusing, isn't it? Oh, there's the Bravo. There it is. See, there we go. You're just gonna, you're gonna have to make a tight turn in there. I would like to do this in a triple seven. No. Uh, do be careful of that tiller, not to over crank it. Turn right in here. Well, we're cleared to take off, so nothing is coming, not even a bird. And stay within the inner one, I think. Keep our wind clear of that blast gate.
everything you need. Look at the detail of that. Beautiful blue Caribbean Sea. It is indeed. Back to 
the other plan then. taking us 
in just a moment. Yeah, look at the that. Dolphins. 
This has got birds and it has dolphins and this is made by Wingsim. Same people who made the other one. Ah, now let's see if I can capture those. There they are out there. Amazing. Look at that. Jumping up and down. Wow. Now that's a sight you don't see at every airport. I don't think we'd see that if we'd went into any of the London airports, would we? I don't think so. Not unless they're at Staines Lake. <laughs> Staines Reservoir, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Very impressive. Very impressive. And there's the main terminal building coming up. What are we aiming for? What, uh, what was the runway? Uh, what was it? I think we're aiming for gate 8. Well, we're coming up on the fire station, so... We turn in there, and then it will not be the first abutment sticking out, but we we'll go to the other side of it, according to this. Oh, there you go. We'll go down the middle between the two, isn't it? So what did they say? Was it 12 that they came in on? Oh, it was gate 8. Gate 8, okay. So that's actually round, round the corner. So that's 5 there. 6 is there. So we just need to go down. Yeah, we go down the middle of this. Manly Tower, orbit minus zero eight zero is one one miles east inbound visual runway three zero approach. Orbit nine zero eight zero oh, Manly Tower, six runway three is zero. Is the spirit parked in our spot? Zero, zero, We're going to be right next to it, I think. Make straight in runway three zero orbit minus zero eight zero. So here's this six. Yeah, we're going to have to turn down the center lane here. There's the center lane on the right there. And where is eight? There's seven, I see seven. Yes, sir. Oh, there's eight, yeah. It is, it's right next to the Sprite. Or Spirit, yeah. But look at the detail of this, this is... Caribbean Airlines cargo is all right over there. Very detailed. And there's, is that your private jet out there, Michael? Oh, that would be nice. Oh, are we going to go uh, nip off uh, home in that, are we? Seems like a good idea. Wow. going down yeah. and you hear the engines the the motors yeah. taking the stairs out just and the lights are on yeah. yeah doors are open
temperature outside, ladies and gentlemen, is a lovely, cool 28 degrees. Mm. 28, but inside we are 22 degrees. Even better. Even better, isn't it? All right, so our self-loading cargo has loaded itself into Jamaican Customs and Immigration. So we are ready now to complete the shutdown. All right, uh, fuel off, APU off, battery off, and shutdown is complete. Look at that. Wonderful. Well, Jevon, we made it. We actually made the flight. We landed. We didn't crash. We didn't go in for a swim. And we didn't become a flotation device in the middle of the Caribbean either. That's always an issue. You know, I always feel uncomfortable not being the captain when we're crossing over water because, you know, if there's a problem with the engine, it's always the first officer that has to go out and tinker and fix it. And I was never up for that kind of thing. But we didn't have to do that today, so we were all right. But I thought our captain did a brilliant approach and landing. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, we're here in Jamaica. The scenery is the same manufacturer that made the scenery at our departure point in the Caymans, and that is Wingsim. Beautiful scenery. Very surprised at the dolphins, though. Very surprised. And the birds that were flying. I mean, that is pretty, pretty good stuff there. But we had that little surprise. We were prepared to land on runway 30. And then they, Aetis said, no, no, no. Aetis says you've got to go on 1-2. And then air traffic control says, no, no, no. We're in charge. You go on 30. So we were back and forth on that but we made it. We actually made it without any mishap. And the passengers, well, all that free complimentary champagne, that's the reason why we give it to them. <laughs> okay. Thank you for flying Ryanair 186 and thank you for the suggestion, Jeb and Barrett. Appreciate it very much. And we'll see everyone again next week for another flight on Ryanair 186. Bye everybody.